Hi. Uh, I've been asked to sort of like point out some features in Scarborough that are dog friendly. Uh, there's a lot of people coming to Scarborough with pets. Now, I've been I put a, a, a question on Facebook, and the people that's answered me, I'll include in this video. And over the road here behind me, you've got the Del Monte Hotel. Now, the Del Monte, they are a dog friendly hotel, so anyone coming uh, with a pet. There is a, an extra charge. They do charge £10 per pet per stay, not per night, per stay. And that's just to cover any additional cleaning that may be required. Uh, but obviously, if you bring a new pet, you bring your dog. Hey, what's the tenner to have your dog with you? Yeah, cheaper than a, a kennels. So that's the Del Monte Hotel. And I'm going to have a wander down on the North Bay here, because the Del Monte's overlooking the North Bay. Uh, we're going to have a wander down there and show you what areas of the beach that are dog friendly. But down on the North Bay, and as you can see, way behind me over there, uh, there's a green sign. Now, dogs are not allowed beyond the green sign, but they are allowed all along this lovely stretch of beach, all right? During the summer, that is. In the winter time, the rules change, and you can take the dogs anywhere on the beach. And that applies to the south side as well. During the summer, on the South Bay, which is the other side of the castle there, uh, there's only a certain section where you can take dogs. Now, as far as cafes go, most cafes are actually dog friendly. Uh, behind me, you've got the watermark. Now, I know the watermark are dog friendly, but at the moment, due to the COVID-19, they're only open doing takeaways and the outside seating area. And then, uh, as we go round, I'll show you uh, a one called Peaches and Cream that's also dog friendly and all the open top buses which are here right they take you right around the bay you can take dogs on any of the transport we're on the north bay and of course behind me there you've got peaches and cream now they're a dog friendly cafe too um so, talking about cafes what cafes are that well that's got in touch with me and hotels and things like that i'll tell you some and pubs actually all in the wall has been in touch they're actually dog friendly Mojo's Cafe, uh, which is uh, up in town. Uh, the Fowlsdack Farmhouse B&B, or Fowl Sky, sorry, it's my, re my reading, do apologise. The Fowl Sky Farm Farmhouse B&B, they're dog friendly. The Nord Lord Nelson Pub, dog friendly. Black Lion, it's dog friendly. Uh, Moulton Grange Lodge Park is dog friendly too. Uh, the Boat Shed in Filey, also moving into Filey there. The Tap and Spile in Scarborough, you can take your dogs in there. The Albert, uh, the Bella Rose Cafe is also dog friendly. The Urban Kitchen in the Market Vaults is also dog friendly. And the Belly Rub Cafe, the Eat Me Cafe, Seven Coffee Shop, and of course, we'll just pass Peaches and Cream. Now, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna have a wander around Peas and Park, uh, chase the pictures of Peas and Peas and Park. Now, Peas and Park, you can take your dogs on there, but you must keep them on a lead. Okay, we are in Peas and Park. As I say, dogs are allowed in the park, but please keep them on a lead. And uh, Peas and Park, as you can see behind me there, you've got the pagoda on the island. Now, that burnt down a few years ago, and but was rebuilt. And they do still hold the naval battles here on Peas and Park Lake. All right, so uh, I'm gonna have a walk around. There is a, a lovely walk where we go, where there's actually some some little boating lakes that not many people actually realize are there okay now as i said behind p-zone park main lake there's a, a series of little ponds uh which are ideal for for boating uh i'd bring some wellies because the the base of it doesn't look all that uh nice really not if you've got to go out and fetch your boat but uh, yeah there are a few more up that way here we are on glen tree trail and uh, as you can see, some beautiful uh, uh, little ponds and the stream going through. It's gorgeous. Uh, well, fancy a nice walk, come down to P-Zone Park. Uh, right, I'm now at the end of the trail and uh, it's brought me out on the road, which is actually not far from Dean Road and uh, the bridge where the roundabout is. So up that road there is Dean Road which is the road I'm going to be taking because it heads me back home. But uh, you've got 
the road that goes down that way uh, towards Newby and Scolby area. Okay, just to uh, the new school ones where I used to go on that way to take the kids to school. Anyway, right, I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of a walk. I'll see you shortly. Over the road here, you've got Dean Road Prison. All right, look at that, lovely building. It is no longer used as a prison. Uh, it's part of the council uh, facilities where you have sort of all the council vans and wagons just the other side there. All right, lovely thing. It was, it is used for quite a bit for filming. The last thing I saw filmed there was a Paul Heaton music video. Nearly back home now. So uh, if anybody else knows of any places that are dog friendly, whether it be hotels, guest houses, cafes, pubs, anything, please add it to the comments on the video. All right, take care, see you soon.